Remind you of the case of a US citizen accused of killing a 19 year old motorcyclist outside a US military base in Northamptonshire. Well, she's set to appear in a UK court for the first time today. And Sir Coolis is accused of causing death by dangerous driving after Harry Dunn was killed in a collision outside a military base in August 2019. Sir Coolis had been granted diplomatic immunity but is expected to appear at Westminster Magistrates Court via video link from the US later today. And now, now we can speak to our home and security editor, Mark White, who's at Westminster Magistrates Court. What's the timeline on events today? Because 2019 was when uh, Harry Dunn uh, lost his life. It's a long time. Well, it's two o'clock this afternoon that we're expecting that appearance. Uh, she will be appearing, as you said, we're told, via a video link into Westminster Magistrates Court. It's a bit of a head-scratcher, this one, in that normally you would get your first appearance at a magistrate's court after you have been charged uh, with a crime. And if it's a serious crime, then, of course, it's referred up to the Crown Court. But as far as we know, Antikoulos has not been charged with any crime because, as you pointed out in your introduction there, she left the UK for the United States shortly after that fatal road crash in August of 2019. And she's never been back since. There have been repeated attempts by the UK government to initially to get her extradition, but she is eligible to diplomatic immunity through her husband uh, because of the job he did at this communication space in Northamptonshire. He uh, was afforded diplomatic immunity and then, of course, that passed on to his uh, close relatives as well. So she has not been coming back. The US government uh, turned down a request by the UK government to extradite her. Uh, Dominic Raab, when he was Foreign Secretary, uh, tried over a number of months to see about a potential way forward. And it seems a solution they've come up with is some kind of a court appearance and court process. But quite what that will be if she never comes to the UK, we're not sure. Because at the end of the day, if there is some sort of a process uh, with a finding of fact, there can't really be a sentence handed down because that sentence would not be enforceable to anyone outside the jurisdiction of this particular court. So perhaps that will become a little clearer uh, after two o'clock this afternoon. We might get an outline of what exactly is going to happen. Uh, you never know, she might surprise us all and decide she's coming to the UK after all. But it doesn't seem likely, given that her lawyers have always maintained from day one that she would not be returning to the UK. Given that the strange circumstances of this particular hearing and, as we mentioned, the, the issue of diplomatic immunity, uh, does, does that have a bearing on how the case is reported? Could there be reporting restrictions applied? Um, I'm not so sure there would be that much in the way of reporting restrictions, especially if we're talking about a case where someone has not actually been charged yet with a crime. Uh, they're not in the jurisdiction of the court. Normal contempt of court uh, processes would not appear to apply in this particular case. But as I say, we really need to get a, a proper handle on that when the court resumes at two o'clock this afternoon. Uh, and we hear exactly what is planned. We know that the UK authorities and the British government want to do all they can for the family of Harry Dunn to try to get them some sort of justice. But it may, in the end of the day, be a bit of a fudge, unfortunately, if we've got some kind of process which is a finding of fact that then cannot result in any criminal sanction, then I'm not sure that the family of Harry Dunn will be happy with that. They are here today. They arrived about uh, half an hour ago, half a dozen of them, close family members, to listen to what is said in court at two o'clock. Thank you very much for the moment. Back to you, of course, after two.